rotation of both arms. When the one arm is up, the other is down, but they're both moving at the same time. One, two, one, two. This time we change both arms up, down, side, down, up, down, side, down. Okay? Just do it in a very relaxed manner. Okay? No need to be stiff. Stay as relaxed as possible because you're only warming up. Okay? So both arms up, both arms down, side, down. Up, down, side, down. Up, down, side, down. Next is just rotate. Okay? Make your circles bigger. Warm up those shoulders. And make sure you do the reverse of it. Okay? Then we rotate this forearm area. Then reverse. Okay, so after the arms, we go to our head. Make sure you do it slow as you don't want to strain anything. So rotate it slowly. Go back to where you started. Do about three rotations. That's two. Three, and then go reverse. Do it slowly. Two, be relaxed. And three. So when you're done, all the way up to the head, it's now time to do some toe touches. Let's bend and do toe touches. Opposite hand to opposite leg. So left arm to right leg, right arm to left leg. Okay, so when we're done there, we're going to go back to the lunges. Okay, so this is the side view, so you will see it. Make sure your knee is above your ankle. Do not go over your toes. It's going to be bad, so keep it up on top of your ankle. Stretch your back leg as far as you can. Slightly bend your knee. Keep your body straight up and put your arms here. Okay, switch leg. Okay, change this side. Go down first and stretch one leg out. Try to keep your base foot flat on the floor. And if you have to lean forward, that's fine. If you have to put your hands on the side, that's fine too. Or even at the back to keep your base foot flat, that's fine. So whatever you're comfortable with, do it. Okay, switch leg, go down first, then stretch the other side. Slowly do the counts, do not forget to breathe. Okay, then we do high kicks, opposite. Left arm, right leg, Right arm, left leg. Kick as high as you can. Okay, put your hand up and let your legs go where your hand is. Okay, so try to touch it. Do whatever you can. If you can't do it high, doing it low is fine too. And last, just do high jumps. It's time to go and get your racket. The first thing we need to do is to grip the racket correctly. So, if, like for me, I'm right-handed. I will hold the shaft with my left hand. Hold the shaft with your left. Slide down your right hand from the head of the racket all the way down to the grip. Then, hold it like you're shaking someone's hand. Make sure grip is very relaxed, okay? You don't want to grip the grip too tight because this one will
will start aching. Your forearm will start aching, which will eventually lead up to your shoulders. So when you play badminton, when you hold your racket, make sure you are relaxed. Now, fingers would be closing, but not overlapping, okay? So thumb is high with your pointer finger. It's actually like you're, you're, you're clipping the racket and then close down the three fingers below, and this is your grip. So to check, you can put your racket down as well, and hold it like you're shaking someone's hand okay so this is how relaxed it is in fact there's there's a very small space here in between um, wherein I can put my pinky finger okay so it's relaxed grip is like shaking someone's hand anytime to check put your racket down hold it if you are holding the racket this way, that's wrong. Or this way, it's wrong. So make sure middle area is here. It goes the same for left-handed beginners. Okay, if you're left-handed, then you hold the shaft of the racket with the right hand. Put your left hand here on the head, on the face of the racket, and you slowly slide it down. You hold it like you're shaking someone's hand. Okay, I, I want to stress also that the space here is only short. Do not grip your racket too high with a big space below. Why? Because if you hit the shuttle, you will end up hitting your forearm as well. Okay, so what you want to do is to leave a small space. Your arm is relaxed. When you hit the bottom of the grip, does not hit my forearm, okay? So also to check for left-handed people, put the racket down, hold it like you're shaking someone's hand with a small space in between, very relaxed. This is how you grip your racket. The first drill that we will do is just to hit the shuttle upward, but remember the correct grip. So you can hit the shuttle this way. Softly, just getting the timing of hitting the shuttle upward, soft, just getting the timing. Do not put out your pointer finger. Make sure pointer finger is down. Grip is closed but not overlapping. Working on the wrist. One, two, three. 
three, 